Seychelles has some of the best beaches of the world. In this video, we continue exploring not just the most pristine beaches of Praline, but also visit its rugged jungle-covered interiors. We take you through the famous Valle de May, which is famously touted as the Garden of Eden. We also go on a day trip to the laid-back island of Ladik. Join us as we explore the breathtaking beauty of some of the most beautiful islands of the world. I'm ending up so clueless What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you have in breakfast, we decided to go to the Anse Georgette beach. Anse Georgette is actually located inside the Lemuria resort. Upon reaching the resort, we parked our car outside and walked for 30 minutes through the resort's golf course to reach the beach. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Anse Georgette is one of the few real untouched beaches in Seychelles offering natural, astounding beauty and when we went, we were the only ones on the beach. Up next on our itinerary is the mystical Valle de May. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Today, we are visiting the Valle de May at Praline. Valle de May is a natural reserve and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What's most interesting about Valle de May is that uh, it is a natural palm forest reserve and it has remained almost untouched since prehistoric times. You know we should work it out, you know we should work it out Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya the Valle de May is home to the famous Coco de Mer and five palm tree species that are endemic to Seychelles. The Coco de Mer grows naturally in only two islands in the entire world. Praline and Curios, and we are in Praline right now. Uh, what's so special about the Coco de Mer is that its fruit contains the largest seed in the animal kingdom. Each fruit can weigh up to 25 kilos, and I am so worried that one of these fruits might fall on my head. <laughs> It is the crack of dawn, we are up at sunrise, the sun is just about to rise and uh, we are at the Anse Volbert beach which is basically the beach at which our resort is situated. So basically those are the cottages we are staying at and that's the beach. That's how convenient sunrise was for us today morning. So if you walk down the Anse Volbert beach for 15 to 20 minutes, you reach the Côte d'Or beach. That is the most popular beach of Praline uh, because there are a lot of guest houses, a lot of hotels, resorts and shopping centres all located on the Côte d'Or beach. that we headed to the Ladik Islands for a day trip. There are multiple tours available but you can also book the ferry yourself. We booked our tickets on the Cat Rose website and collected the tickets at the Praline Jetty directly. Tickets cost around 3000 INR or 36 USD per person for a round trip. So 
today we have come on a day trip to the Ladi from Praline. Ladi is one of the three main islands of Seychelles and anybody who comes to visit Seychelles also tries to stay over at Ladi. But uh, we are coming here on a day trip because one interesting fact about Ladi is that there are no cars or bikes available for tourists on the island and therefore the only way uh, to commute in Ladi for tourists is basically to either ride bicycles or ox carts and I cannot ride a bicycle unfortunately so we cannot really stay over at the island and uh, therefore we are basically going to do a day trip. Our first stop of the day at La Bique is uh, this beach called Anse Source Darjo, which is known to be the most photographed beach in the world. And we are walking to Anse Source Darjo right now because again we don't have bicycles. And it is approximately three kilometers from where we were dropped off by the ferry. After a tiring walk, we reached the Union Estate Park. Aunt Sors Darjo is actually inside this park and entry to this park is around rupees 700 or approximately around 10 USD per person. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said See it in your mind We spent some time at Ansor's Darjo Beach and fortunately while coming back we were able to convince an e-rickshaw which dropped us at a local restaurant for some overpriced spaghetti. We went to Ladi today, we are back at Praline but honestly Ladi was a huge disappointment. The main beach of Ladi, Ansor's Darjo is supposed to be the most photographed beach of the world and we have all seen those supernaturally beautiful pictures of the beach. However, the beach looks nothing like the photographs, at least at this point in time. Probably the beach looked as pretty years ago or probably we went during low tide. Uh, but the water was really far away and the beach was covered in these rocky structures and aesthetically it did not look good at all. Also the beach was quite crowded, there were quite a lot of people on Source Darjo as compared to beaches in Fraline. Right now if you look around me, we have this entire beach to ourselves and in Fraline it, it has always been the case. We went to the most popular beach of Fraline, Ans Lazio and there also we had vast sections of the beach completely to ourselves. Praline definitely has my heart and I'm glad I'm staying an extra day in Praline as compared to Ladik. But that is also my personal opinion. Please bear in mind I cannot ride a bike. I've had to walk in the sun for three kilometers. So it's my opinion but you, you can choose to decide whether you want to stay at Ladik or not. In my opinion there's not much to do at Ladik and Praline has the best best beaches I've ever seen in the world. Cause you can make it too. It's not